the weather doing a little swap in South Africa this week. It's now much cooler in the eastern areas and warm to very hot over western South Africa. So here's your Tuesday forecast. This week, we've got a dominating high pressure system over the west and upper levels of the atmosphere. Winds are turning anti-clockwise around the high, and due to the help of an upper level trough, berg winds are heating up the coastal areas of our neighboring country, Namibia, the northern, western, and southern coast, with a high of 36 on a Tuesday afternoon for Freerendam. Mainly dry conditions across South Africa on Tuesday, only a very light rain possible in the low felt of Limpopo. And then due to that upper level trough and the heat, a few heat induced thunderstorms are likely to develop over the interior of our neighboring country, Namibia. Weekly heating up in the Western Cape due to Berkwin conditions soaring to a high of 36 in Ferndal, above 30 degrees in Clan William, a sunny and hot day for Cape Town with a high of 31 degrees, upper 20s for the Winelands, peaking above 30 degrees in Swellendam, Lanesburg, and a high of 30 for Oatspring as well as George. This includes Plettenberg Bay, Kabecha, and Somerset East. It's also a sunny and much warmer day for large parts of the Eastern Cape, lots of sunshine, 31 in Adelaide. Cold at first in Kamani as well as Alleyville North, later a comfortable afternoon with temperatures in the mid-20s and a northeasterly wind blowing between Fort St. John's as well as East London. It's a warmer day for KwaZulu Natal with mainly sunny skies, maximum temperatures expected in the mid-20s, peaking at a high of 25 in Pietermaritzburg as well as in Newcastle. Cold at first over the high fault of Pumalanga, only two in Sanatorn, one in Ermelo. Later maximum temperatures only in the lower 20s and still quite coolish in the low felt with lots of cloud around. It's a mainly cloudy day for the low felt of Limpopo. Light rain possible near Toyando, maximum of only 90 in the afternoon and temperatures only in the lower to mid 20s for the bush felt. It's also quite cold the morning in parts of northwest with one in Freiburg, two in Potchefstroom. Later sunny skies and mild conditions the afternoon. In the northern Cape, Bergwinds quickly heating up the west coast. It's the third day of heatwave conditions for Alexander Bay with a high of 31 degrees. Also lots of sunshine and warm over the interior. Windy conditions later where the weather service is warning against runaway fires. In the free state, cold at first and the later a sunny and mild afternoon. Also cool to cold at first in Halting, only 3 in Freonhang, 5 in Johannesburg. Later, a sunny afternoon with maximum temperatures battling to recover. Overnight into Wednesday, Bergwind still heating up the coastal areas of the southern and eastern Cape where maximum temperatures will soar above 30 degrees. And then on a Thursday, much warmer conditions expected in KwaZulu-Natal. Also, temperatures are finally recovering in Halting, Limpopo and Pumalanga. But then we've got the next cold front hitting the Western Cape where it's going to be significantly colder, lots of cloud and light rain later with a high of 17 in Cape Town. Well, that's all from me. And remember, no matter the weather, we're in this together.